Oh, thanks. <laughs> am, am I supposed to play it? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget this one. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Good old. <laughs> Set that down. May 21st, 2016. I cannot believe that the day is finally here. The day where I get to marry my best friend and share this special moment with all of the most important people in our lives. It feels like just yesterday that we met on that winter night at Oliver's Twist. I will never forget our first date. I remember getting ready and even what I wore that night. I remember walking in and seeing his handsome face look up from his phone. And in that moment, it seemed like we were the only two people at that bar. And for the first time in a long time, I felt like the universe was finally on my side. Our chemistry was something I've never had with anyone else. Before the day had ended, I knew that this was something very special, but I couldn't explain why. I just knew. It was even before we parted ways that I knew he was the one. Am I crazy? This kind of love story was only meant for the movies. Yet there we were, two crazy kids about to take off on the most exciting adventure of our lives. Before I met Ryan, I never thought that I could love and be loved again. Before Ryan, I didn't truly know what I was looking for. And now that we've found each other, he's truly given my past and future meaning. My life is not only better, but so much more purposeful with him. And I can't believe that today, we start writing the next chapter of our lives together. Today is the day that we become accountable to someone other than ourselves. Today, we take on the responsibility and possibilities that lie ahead for us. And together, we will take on life's journey, and I couldn't be more excited. Where the young lovers, our older selves, will one day reminisce about. So let us enjoy every single moment like it's our last. And after all that's said and done, let us continue to love and laugh together, and maybe even leave room for a few surprises along the way to always remind us that our relationship is something so extremely special and should never be taken for granted. My buff, I can't wait to see you, and I hope you can't wait to see me too. So, I love you, that was awesome. Killed that. When Irene told me, okay, yeah, so I met this guy, I was like, mm, okay, let's see. And when I saw you get down on that knee, chugging that Smirnoff ice without any hesitation, I knew I, knew I approved of you. <laughs> and I could not be happier that you chose to get down on that same knee to propose to my big sister. She's charming, honest, goofy, pouty, hilarious, and she's so full of enthusiasm for the weirdest things in life that you can't help but get swept along with Hurricane Irene. Because of this, I am so appreciative of, her, of our friendship and have never taken it for granted. I've only known Ryan for less than half time we've been I've been friends with Irene so it makes sense that he only gets half the speech time uh, regardless in that time I've come to realize that his personality and character perfectly suit her and that she has never been as happy as she has been with him in her life which in my mind it's probably the highest compliment that I can give to Ryan because it speaks to the kind of man he is You're thoughtful and caring, adorable and beautiful, strong and motivating, fun and silly, and your love is infectious. I'm lucky to say that I found my best friend and the one that I want to spend the rest of my years growing old with. 
I vow to continue to discover and explore everything fun our world has to offer with you. I vow to accept you as you are, respect you as an equal, encourage all of your dreams and passions. I vow to love and admire you, uh, adore and sympathize with you, support and comfort you as only you deserve. And most importantly, I vow to remain by your side, be your best friend, be patient and faithful, and love you unconditionally as we grow old together. I'm so thankful to call you my best friend. You are an amazing man who always puts others first. I love the way you treat your friends and family by put, always putting a smile on their faces and making them laugh. Sorry, I couldn't be more excited to spend a lifetime of laughter with you. I promise to be your biggest cheerleader in life. I promise to cheer on your trailblazers with you and keep quiet when they're not doing too well. I'll also cheer on your beavers, but only if they're only if they aren't playing my Huskies. <laughs> I promise to always laugh with you and leave room for surprises like Limeritas around the house. I promise to do whatever it takes to keep our love as strong as it is today. With my whole heart, I take you as my husband, acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses as you do mine. I promise to always be supportive and make our family's love and happiness a priority. I make this decision joyfully and without hesitation. I will love you today and always. I pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, please kiss Irene. Those you know, qualities that make him a great friend will make him absolutely fantastic husband. So, cheers to you. He really brings out the best qualities of Irene and she is a better person when she's with Ryan. I really can't wait to see where the future takes you to. I love you guys. Let's start the champagne showers and pop some bottles to celebrate and get ready for the best party anyone has ever been to. Let's dance the night away and be carefree and only worry about having a good time. their days be marked with joy and with laughter and with love. May their love stay young and may their faith remain strong.